Hey guys, I've got some more tips and tricks today, and these tips aren't really centered around any one thing, it's just a few things that should help you win fights in general. So the first one is a little trick I use pretty much all the time that I find really helps against shields, particularly the really big round ones that high level enemies have. So when I'm using a weapon that I want to swing over the shield with, I don't really aim for the head so much as the back shoulder. I feel like doing this just helps me find the right distance to swing from, because the thing is, if you swing for the back shoulder, their head is in the way anyway, so that's what you're going to hit. But I find that when I focus on the head sometimes, I swing too short and just hit the shield. You see how their head kind of lines up with the shoulder as well, and it kind of rests more on that side of their shield too so that's the general area I want my weapon to be striking, and aiming for the shoulder tends to get it there. So if you aren't hitting the head as often as you'd like, try doing this. Another attacking tip is for use with spears and pole arms like the Bardish and the Feradaka if you're using them without a shield. Normally you'd want to be using a shield with these weapons, but if for some reason you aren't, or the Bardish doesn't even let you, then there's a pretty good way to get around shields. So when you set up for a thrust, you want to aim your weapon way off to the left and then turn it as you thrust so that you're thrusting around the shield. You see the Bardiche is actually really good for this. Normal spears not so much, but it's still probably the best way to get around the shield with them. The next tip is something that should help you take less damage. So sometimes when you're going for an attack, you get into one of these awkward situations where the enemy had the same idea. When this happens, I like to pull out of the attack, you know, click my block or something to cancel and just live to fight another day. Going through with an attack like this right into an enemy that's also attacking is pretty dangerous, and there's just no reason to really commit to it. You'll always have another opportunity to attack, so just back off and wait for the next chance and you should avoid some nasty hits. The last tip is a little one, but it can be handy sometimes, especially if you don't have fame to spend. So when you're on the fight screen before you reveal anything, scan through the fights because sometimes they'll tell you what you need to know without having to reveal them. Like you know this one's going to be a lot of guys because of how much it pays. Here you got a couple 1v1s, and then the one between them has the same fame but less money, and that's because spoils always takes away from the money, so you know that still has to be a 1v1. Another one here, you know this has to be 1v1 like this, and this is not spoils because this would be paying less. And the one in between them that says teams, you know that's a pit fight because pit fights and wildcard pit fights are the only ones that even say teams like that. So look for these things when you're picking fights and you might save a little fame. And that's that, I hope these tips are helpful to you guys. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.